Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and I want to quickly show you how Java's double brace initialization feature works. Now, we have all been working with applications where we have to see the list. So I'm going to create an array list here, equals new array list. And I should probably specify that that's going to be strings in there. Always add your generics. And, you know, if you're just working on a little application, you probably got to seed this. So you got to go list.add and, you know, alpha. And even here, I'm just adding a string, but this can get verbose if you have to add an actual class, right? Like list add new student. So people have asked for a way to kind of speed this process up. Now, let me just make sure this works system.out.println list.size and maybe even do a system.out.println list.get at three. We want to make sure this works. I'm going to hammer that red run button and we should get uh, four and Devo. Are we not men? So it looks like this is working. So what did they do to help simplify this? Uh, well, what they did was they introduced this double brace initialization feature. And so what you do is you get rid of that semicolon. It'll come back a little later and you put two braces up here boom boom and then you put two braces down here boom boom did I mention a semicolon before another boom there is that semicolon so we've got two braces up here two braces down here and as you're doing the initialization you don't have to do this dot you just add them inside the actual list like this and everything gets added in and so it's just a way to simplify the seeding of your collection classes, lists, sets in Java. And now we run this and boom, all of a sudden we get the exact same output. Output, maybe we should put a different uh, element in there just to make sure that it's running. But you can see Alpha, Beta, Charlie, Diva all working well. And so there you go. That's the, the difference, the double brace initialization feature. We don't have to say list dot, the name of the list, each time we add an element. Just do it all inside that constructor. It makes your life a little bit easier. So there you go. That is a quick overview of Java's double brace initialization feature. And if you enjoyed this quick tutorial, why don't you uh, head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Java, DevOps, Jakarta EE, microservices, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?